Hi there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You're watching the videos on surface area and volume. So in this video, we'll discuss some of the important questions related to volume of right circular cone. So which these questions are again very important from the exam point of view. So you have to watch this part of the video very carefully. And the questions we will discuss will be very much related to the practical life examples. So you will get to know more about how why we need to learn more about the volume and how we can use the volume of a right circular cone. So let's get started with our first question which is question number one. Now the question says that we need to find the volume of right circular cone with radius 6 cm and height 7 cm. Right? So let's solve the first question very quickly. So it's very easy. So first question says that the radius is 6 cm and height is 7 cm. Right? So we need to find the volume of the cone. So we can write volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h so it will be equals to 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 why 22 by 7 because pi is not given so when pi is not given so we take pi as 22 by 7 into r is 6 square into height is 7 so this will come out to be 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 6 times 6 times 7 Right, so this and this will cancel. So three ones are three twos are. So this will come out to be twenty two times two times six. So this will be twenty two times twelve. Right. So when you times it, it will come out to be two hundred and sixty four centimeter cube. So this is how we can use the volume of a cone to find the solution to various types of question. Now let's discuss the second part. So second part says that radius is again 3.5 centimeter and height is 12 centimeter so we need to find the volume again so we can say that volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h so this will be equals to 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into r is 3.5 square into h is 12 so this will come out to be 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 3.5 times 3.5 times 12, right? So this and this will cancel and this and this will cancel. So this will come out to be 22 times 0 0.5 times 3.5 times 4, right? So when you times it, it will come out to be 154 centimeter cube. So this is how we can use the volume of cone to solve various different types of question. So let's discuss the next question which is question number two. Now the question says that we need to find the capacity in liters of the conical vessel with radius 7 centimeter and slant height 25 centimeter. Right. So let's say how we can do this question and it's very interesting question how we can do this then. Now first of all for the first question it's given that radius is 7 centimeter and slant height is 25 centimeter right now for volume we always need h so first of all we need to find h so we can use pythagoras theorem then so we can write l square equals to r square plus h square right so l is 25 square equals to 7 square plus h square so this will be 25 square minus 7 square will be equals to h square. So this will be 625 minus 49, right? So which is equals to h square. So h square will be 576, right? So h will come out to be 24 centimeter. So we have h as 24 centimeter, right? Now we can find the volume. So volume of cone will be 1 by 3 pi r square h so this will be equals to 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into r is we can say 7 square and height is 24 so this will come out to be 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 7 times 7 times 24 so this and this will cancel so 3 ones are 3 eights are so this will be 22 times 56 so this will be 
1232 centimeter cube right so this is the volume of the cone now it's given that we need to find the capacity in liters right so let's say how we can find the capacity in liters now right so we know all know that 1 meter cube equals to 1000 liters right and we know that 1 meter cube can be written as 100 centimeter whole cube so this will be equals to 1000 liters right now when we expand this this will come out to be 1000 times 1000 times 1000 centimeter cube equals to 1000 liters right so this means we can say that 1 centimeter cube will be equals to 1000 divided by we can say 100 times 100 times 100 right so this means this will be this and this and this will cancel so this much liters so we can say that 1 centimeter cube equals to 1 upon 1000 liters right so th this is the relation so we can say that this can be written as 1 2 3 2 times 1 by 1000 liters so this will come out to be 1.232 liters so this is the volume of the cone now we need to find the second part so let's do it quickly then it's very easy then now so it's given slant height which is l equals to 13 centimeter right and height which is h is given to be 12 centimeter right now we need radius so we can use the pythagoras theorem again so we can write l square equals to r square plus h square right so l square is 13 square right equals to r square plus h square is 12 square so this will be 13 square minus 12 square equals to r square so this will be 169 minus 144 equals to r square so r square is 25 so r is 5 centimeter right so we have radius as 5 centimeter now we can use the formula to find the volume so we can write volume of cone will be equals to 1 by 3 pi r square h so this will be 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into r is pi square into h is 12 so when you solve this so this will come out to be let's say 2200 by 7 centimeter cube right now if you want to convert into liters we need to write this as 22 by 100, 2200 by 7 times 1 by 1000 liters so when you solve this again further so this will come out to be 11 by 35 liters so this is how we can use the concepts of conversion of meter cubes to liters and the volume of cone to solve different types of questions so these questions are actually again very important from the exam point of view so please no, note the questions right so let's discuss the next question which is question number three now the question says that the height of the cone is 15 centimeter right and the volume is 1570 centimeter cube we need to find the radius of the base and we need to use pi as 3.14 so let's say how we can use this now it's given height of cone is 15 centimeter and the volume is 1570 
centimeter cube and we need to use pi as 3.14 so we need to find the radius so let's see how we can solve this question now we all know that volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h right so the volume over here is 1570 right which will be equals to 1 by 3 into pi is 3.14 into r we need to find and height is 15 centimeter right so when you cross multiply this will be 1570 times 3 upon 3.14 times 15 equals to r square so so r square will come out to be first we need to do 1570 times 3 so this will come out to be 4710 upon 3.14 times 15 so this will come out to be 47.1 so when you divide this so this will come out to be 100 so r will be 10 centimeters so we have radius we can say that the radius of the base is 10 centimeter so this is how we can use the concept of volume of the cone to find either radius slant height or a height basic height of the cone so thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com keep watching further videos have a nice day